to Sunday. Now we spent all Friday messing with that car. But we've had to think about it. And what we haven't done is check the timing of the engine. So one job we're going to do is to take the uh, timing chain cover off. And there should be some little markers that show whether it's in, uh, it's in place or not. That's one thing we're going to do. The other thing we're going to do is take the uh, earthing lead off the car. Make sure it's not rusted up. Because it could be that there's not enough power going through to the, the points or something like that. So, we've only got two hours before we have to have dinner. So let's get out there and do a bit. There we are, that's one of the earthing points there. We've just taken the screw out. And that's pretty good, there's no rust on it, so put that back on. I don't know if you can see that, that is another earthing point there, so that needs taking off. That does look pretty dirty. Now this is the cam belt cover here, and we're going to just take that off now and check out the markers to see how the timing of the engine is. What you're going to do here is line up the marker point in there with, see those little, difficult to see here, but see there, you've got to line them up with there, and it's what they call top dead centre. And what you do, you check in valve number one there, just to see the pistons at the top, and that's all lined up, so it seems to be timed all right. I'm just looking in my book and when we're at top dead centre the distributor should be pointing to number one. I mean it doesn't, it points to number four. So I'm going to change all these leads round. So it's like 180 degrees out of place. That's that. One, three. Four. Just that one. And then two. Just that one. One, three, four, two. So we're in top dead centre, so that goes on like what, like that. One. Plug one will go off first. Hopefully. Let's try that now.
I don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Just stay there. Okay. job before going is just to cover the engine in this gunk because we're going to clean it up the next time we come out. go we've actually got the car going and just to recap what the problem was someone has put the distributor on the wrong way around or they put the leads in the wrong way around so it was firing 180 degrees out but now we've got it it's working so we can move on now really at the back are, are stuck obviously they've not been used for about seven years that's why it was so difficult pushing the car a few weeks ago so we bought some new cylinders and we're going to replace them now the difficulty is getting the old ones off because they've rusted up you know and uh, but come up with us <laughs> 